honestly, there is some real similarities there to our business. You know, even if you get a client, there's always a lag between when you actually start getting commission and then, you know, you're having to service that client before that commission comes in. And so you're really kind of running at a loss for a little right. bit of time right. until that money starts to come in. And yeah. so there's kind of a, you know, sometimes internally we're having to play the game with, yeah. with the powers that be here or with yeah. our account management teams to say like, Hey, this is justified expense. Yes. You just have to wait. <laughs> yeah. And so we would, we would use the language of uh, plus or minus. Like, mm. is this, is this staff person going to be a plus guy or a minus guy? And, and so minus would just, or, or gal, and minus doesn't mean bad. It just means that, that, you know, this could be um, a support staff that is super necessary, but you're not going to see a direct correlation between that hire and them uh, bringing in more people or more money. Right. Mm. Whereas, uh, a plus guy, uh, is going, you know, you, you're going to hire him and maybe you don't have the, you know, X amount of money in the, in your personnel budget for him, but you want to take a chance because he's going to bring in a uh, hundred new people that is, that is going to provide, he's going you know, to pay for himself in a sense. In terms of like, he's out here prospecting or he's just, you know, who he is brings something to us or maybe it's both. Yeah. I mean like, let's say, let's say, let's say you're in a college town and you want to uh, hire a college minister. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, the yeah. college minister is not going to make you any money right? because college kids don't have any money. Mm. So that's a minus position, but you're saying that's worth it because we want to minister to this, community or this campus and, um, uh, you know, unless we can, you know, unless a few of their parents are going to donate in the end, it's, it's a minus position for me. Yeah. Um, but if I go out and hire this, you know, uh, like Maya at our, you know, at our church, like I go out and hire Maya to do, to help connect people into our church, uh, and to do it excellently. Um, she's going to kill that and it's going to be, uh, and, and more people are going to come to our church because of her and get connected and, 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 and begin to give. So she's a plus gal. That's a right. plus position in that sense. Gotcha. Um, and so, you know, if we're in a position where it's like, and I don't know if I can hire somebody right now because I'm looking at my budget, I'm not sure, but I want to take a risk. Um, I'm going to ask that question is, is, is this a plus role or a minus role? So you're more likely to take a risk on a, on a plus, plus role. role. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I think that's really helpful for probably a lot of our kind of nonprofit entrepreneurs too, yeah. who are probably running in the red quite yes. a bit as they're yes. building their business and considering when do I bring a team member yes. on and is that worth the, worth the risk? Right. And